so I'm actually on my way to work right now. I'm running late, I'm always running late. Okay, so I am a dumbass, but I think we're already aware of that. Um, anyway, so I wanted to take a little bit of this video. First of all, I don't know what this video is gonna be, so if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I wanted to take a little bit of time in this video to talk about me being back on YouTube, I guess. Um, cause I'm a freaking YouTuber now. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm probably like the worst driver to ever drive like on the planet. Just kidding. Probably not that bad. I like to make fun of myself a lot. Anyway, like I was saying, so I'm back on YouTube. Um, I'm a YouTuber. That's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you. Bye. That was obviously a joke. You can't tell. I'm really bad at being funny um, or relatable or just being anything ever in my whole life. Back to the whole little topic thing of me being back on YouTube. So I wasn't posting for a while as we can all tell just by going back to my like videos on YouTube. There's like months and months of gaps in between all of my postings but um, yeah, I was supposed to start posting uh, consistently in January. That was one of like my New Year's resolutions. But um, life just kind of got in the way. A lot of things happened. But yeah, I'm back on YouTube. And I'm here to freaking stay and freaking go. <laughs> just kidding. So I'm not really sure what this video is going to be because I just don't really plan my videos out. That's like my entire life though. I don't plan shit out and that's why everything goes to shit all the time. Also, I think this video is going to be pretty short because again, I have no ideas for any of the videos that I'm doing except next week because my birthday is next week. I'm turning 21. One, we're gonna get lit as fuck here. You know, I'm turning 21. I don't know what's gonna happen. I might, you know, freaking black the fuck out or stay sober. I'm not sure. But there will there will not be an in between. <laughs> just kidding. I need to stop saying just kidding. Fun fact: I've never drank in my life. Um, and I say fun fact because I think it's weird as fuck for a 20 year old to not have drank ever in her life. Alcohol just doesn't interest me. I might be boring, people might be clicking off now because I said that, they're like, oh, this bitch is boring as fuck. As you can clearly tell by how this video is going, I don't plan anything. One, two, I get distracted by the slightest thing because we were talking about YouTube and then we're talking about me blacking out, then we're talking about me being sober, you know, like, not liking um, alcohol, like, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. But, this is my life and if you guys want to be a part of that, want to keep up with how fucked up and how messy and how honestly how boring my life is, then subscribe. Click the red subscribe button so that you guys can keep up with me, so that you guys can see more of me and my life. I don't even think I finished what I was gonna say, but I'm a freaking YouTuber now. I'm back on YouTube. I'm back to posting. Right now, I think I'm gonna post every Friday at 3 p.m. Central Time because um, I'm from Texas. Texas. <laughs> just kidding. Why do I say just kidding? I really am from Texas. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm planning on doing a like, little, I'm planning on doing a little get ready with me for my birthday, but I'm also planning on like doing stuff for my birthday, like a separate video for like how I celebrate my birthday, which will probably be the lamest birthday celebration of a 21 year old ever because I really don't plan on drinking. I might. But I'm really not planning on drinking. But I might. But I'm not sure. But I might. So. The three points that I made in this video are that one, I'm a freaking YouTuber. Two, my life is a fucking mess. And three, I'm turning 21 and I might black out. I might stay sober. Not sure what's gonna happen. But if you wanna see what's gonna happen, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because it's gonna be lit or it's gonna be boring but there will not be an in between oh and the fourth thing we learned is that i cannot stop saying just kidding and that is thanks to let's do makeup because i watch her way too much i'm gonna go now i don't know if there's gonna be another little might switch on to something real quick okay 
guys, so for the second little part of this video, I decided to do a Q&A. So I posted this on my Instagram stories yesterday. So I saw that Esme was doing this, so credit to her. I saw her doing this. This is from rusticstuff.co on Instagram. Sorry, I don't know what my hand is doing. And it's basically just picking a number and I'll answer what that number was. So I asked you guys to do that. Also, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me right now. Pause this video, go follow me on Instagram, and then come back and finish this video. I decided to just film it for YouTube because somehow I'm back on YouTube because I'm a freaking YouTuber now. But I don't have video ideas. How the fuck does that work? I don't know. So I decided to film this for YouTube because I needed content. And I think it's a good way for you guys to get to know me because I feel like you guys don't know anything about me. Like, you know my name and that's it. <laughs> okay, so disclaimer before I start. I have my ring light, but I'm blind as fuck. So I need my glasses. Um, and I'm sorry if you can see like the little reflection thing right here. Um, but I'm gonna just go ahead and go with the video like that. Also, I haven't combed my hair in like five years. So if anybody wants to give me a hairbrush for my birthday, I'd really appreciate that. Because this look is just not it. <laughs> and I'm wearing my CNCO shirt. I put it on yesterday to go to sleep and I woke up today and honestly it haven't changed so mind your business this is CNCO shirt and I'm gonna cry because technically this isn't CNCO anymore because fucking Hoya decided to just dump our asses <laughs> just kidding also ignore the mess back here um again just mind your business like stop judging me like this is not it I'm gonna shut up and start okay so the first question um was asked by several people um so the first question is which country do you wish to travel to I have probably two that pop right into my head so i'm mexican but i don't remember going to mexico which kind of sucks so at some point of my life i want to be able to go to mexico and like make memories and stuff and actually like things that i remember the second place right i've always wanted to go to colombia always 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 i don't know why um i actually want to travel a lot though so um definitely want to travel like here in the u.s but i didn't want to say that because like that's boring <laughs> just kidding and obviously Mexico, um, Colombia, um, I want to go to Spain, I want to go to Italy, I want to go literally everywhere. Um, but yeah, my, I guess my main answer would be Mexico and Colombia. Okay, the next one is 50, which is what really makes you angry. Okay, so I get irritated very easily. It just depends on the mood I am, but I'm just known as the amargada here in my family because that's who I am. You can't change me. Oh my god, you know what makes me angry like this? Trump supporters freaking Karens and Trump supporters and whenever I just see or, or hear about discrimination to anyone obviously that pisses me the fuck off I don't know who in the right mind would support Trump and put their needs above people's lives like I don't understand that um I fucking Karens honestly <laughs> I feel like they just all three kind of go hand in hand and it fucking sucks that it's even a thing but yeah that pisses me off okay the next one is the oldest thing you own the oldest thing i own is actually a blanket that i have right here <laughs> i still sleep with this every day it's it's winnie the pooh blanket but i got that when i was little i'm actually not sure like i know one of my grand my grandmas gave it to me but i'm not sure which one because i just don't know um it's a funny story actually so one of my grandmas got me this one it's obviously like in pink the theme is pink and then the other one gave me another Winnie the Pooh one but in blue like the theme is blue yeah I just always kind of went more with the pink one it was just softer to me it was less thick and <laughs> I like someone that like I love when it's cold so this one just always kind of kept me fresh and stuff and then it makes sense because i'm obsessed with pink so i don't know i just always kept that one and till this day i sleep with it that is a blanket that i sleep with every night okay the next question is do first impressions matter um i definitely think they do i think that regardless of how much you get to know someone their first impression the first impression you got of them is always kind of like in the back of your mind yeah so i think first impressions are important because obviously they dictate the way you're gonna think about someone the way you see someone but i definitely think that we should give people the benefit of the doubt and just i don't know get to know people beyond just the first impression i feel like so my answer is very like yes and no like they matter but they shouldn't just 
be everything that you think about a person because obviously people evolve and people change over time and stuff so okay the next question is favorite cafe and i'm gonna be honest um yes i drink coffee but honestly i go more <laughs> favorite cafe starbucks <laughs> just kidding actually i haven't been i used to go to starbucks a lot but um now i'm more of a dunkin girl i don't know why i kind of turn into a dunkin girl <laughs> just kidding not kidding because i do like dunkin more than starbucks now but that's more mainstream i don't think that's what the question means um i haven't really been to a cafe if i'm being honest um the last time i went to one was years ago and i like the vibe of it it was jitters here on conway but i don't think i ordered like the right thing i didn't really like it but i want to go back and try something else because i've heard a lot of good things about it so maybe it was just my experience but the whole i didn't actually stay in there so i just like got my order and left so maybe like the experience would be better if i go in there i really like the vibe though i was like oh it's like real cute real chill there's like nobody in there when i went so i was like oh my god this would be like a great place to just like study you know but um favorite cafe i don't really i don't really have one okay so several people also asked this question uh it's number six and it's just uh dreams and ambitions um so right now i guess my dream is just finishing up school because i'm about to graduate to getting in like a year um next may actually less than a year which is next may i'm about to graduate um i'm studying elementary education with a bilingual concentration if you guys aren't aware of that i don't know if i've said that before i feel like i have and hopefully after i graduate i want to you know start teaching and start getting that experience but recently i decided that i don't want to like teach forever i actually want to go more into like the back end of things and have more to do with the way like all the laws and policies and stuff that go within like the education system because honestly there's a lot of things that i don't agree with and stuff that we're learning now that i just don't i don't agree with and and i think need to be changed um i also recently decided that once i start teaching i will be doing my masters at the same time which might be crazy okay so before that i thought i was gonna get my master's in bilingual education but that changed so now i'm planning on getting my master's in educational leadership as for like not school related stuff um i definitely want to keep up with youtube and see how that goes i want to do something in social media i definitely see myself doing more stuff on youtube as well like i i want to do stuff with education but i don't think i should stop there and i don't think I don't think I should keep them divided, if that makes sense. Yeah, for a long time, I thought that I kind of had to keep YouTube and what I want to do, kind of like social media stuff, and like my education and like teaching and everything that I just talked about separate. And I was like, I have to give up one if I want to do the other, you get me? But I don't think like that anymore. I think that I can do both if I really want to and there's a way to combine everything and make connections with everything. So I'm still trying to figure that out and see how I can do that. But yeah, I definitely see myself getting more into the social media world but also not leaving the whole education stuff behind. Okay, the next one is favorite YouTube channel. Okay, so I know this kind of started as a podcast but um, I don't know if there's still a podcast or not. I don't really know. But I've been watching a lot of BFFs, um, BFFs with uh, Josh Richards and Dave Portnoy and Brie. <laughs> I don't know why they don't put her name on there because they should put her name on there. Yeah, I've been watching them a lot. They actually have an episode coming out today and I'm really excited. <laughs> um, even like there's people that I don't like that they have on the show. Not them three, but like guests and stuff they've taken to the show and even those episodes are interesting to me, so. Okay, the next question is things you are grateful for in life. I mean, definitely my family my friends a lot also grateful for my job you guys because sure sometimes i'm like ugh <laughs> hate waking up early but again a lot of people lost their jobs because of the pandemic and everything that was going on um and i was super 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 oh okay i was and i still am super grateful that i was able to still continue working and stuff during the pandemic and you shut up okay and the last question is did i make my bed just for this video and the answer is yes. I never make my bed, honestly. Um, and yes, I made my bed right here just for this video because I'm fake as fuck. So anyway, that, that's pretty much gonna be it. Um, 
these are all the questions that i'm gonna answer if you guys want another video where you guys ans answer ah okay <laughs> you guys are the ones that actually an ask oh my god i can't fucking speak right now if you guys want another video where you guys actually ask me the questions um we can do that just let me know um i'll go ahead and film that for you guys and also if you guys don't follow me on instagram what the fuck are you doing um please follow me on instagram uh, my socials are going to be linked down below in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and uh, follow me and keep up with me because it's a pretty fun time there anyway this is gonna be it for this video um thank you so much for watching i hope you got an idea of how messy and boring my life is but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video like this video if you enjoyed it do not dislike this video even if you did not enjoy it because that's just fucking rude and why the fuck would you do that if you did not enjoy this video um go watch any of my other videos hopefully you enjoy those and subscribe and that'll make the time more enjoyable here so go ahead and do that thank you so much for watching thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and any of my other videos that you ever watched do not forget to subscribe to keep up with me and my boring life um but yeah i'll go ahead and see you guys next time also don't forget i'm a freaking youtuber now so i need to stop watching bryce hall so much what the fuck